Hello, welcome back. I was out shopping again in this uh, little, little supermarket. But I already read about this in Dira Gandhi International Airport. I did read it two times. This is how I got started to read about India. But let's read about it. I'm reading about airlines and stuff. So I have to put it on uh, this paper. I need that pen. This is my video uh, 22,000 about India. So I was reading, I made some video in my language Danish about this airport. This is how I did like to read about Delhi. Because I was reading about aircraft and airports. Now I'm reading about aircrafts, airbus, aircraft engines. I was going to do that. This is why I have so many open. I have so many web browsers open. Like this, this Narita in uh, Tokyo. Then, uh, if I read this soon, probably I would like to read about Tokyo again. And this is Amsterdam, Amsterdam airports. Then I can read about it. And this is how I, O'Hara, that's Chicago, that's Copenhagen, my city, Frankfurt in uh, Germany. That's another airport in uh, India, a new airport close to Delhi. That's New York, Heathrow Airport in London. But I will I like to read it again because I like uh, big airports. This airport is very nice. I made a lot of video about it. My language then it's looking uh, flight radar. I have linked to my flight radar there. That's Copenhagen, my uh, capital, my country. That's the airport, Kastrup, Copenhagen, Air India, fly to, to Copenhagen, to Delhi. Actually cheap. That's Delhi up here. Delhi and New Delhi. That's uh, this in Gandhi app, in the Gandhi Airport lab. New Delhi. Delhi is the whole area. And we have this. I have to read about this cities. Noida, Greater Noida. For it, all these cities. So I've been looking this this is a new this is a new uh, this is a new terminal uh, number three terminal number three uh, the international terminal like Air India and over there they're building uh, terminal uh, one and one one C one D should be for like uh, low low budget airlines like uh, Indigo and SpiceJet. And all uh, low-cost Indian airliner. There's many. There's 80 airports. No 80 airliners using this, like Indigo and uh, SpiceJet and uh, many more. I don't know. This probably is uh, Indigo. 
This is an Indigo that just ordered 600. This is a uh, this is Air India, Air India, Airbus. That's a uh, cargo. That's uh, Indigo, but I have many hundreds. And another Indigo. That's Air India. And another Indigo. So let's close. And read about it. So this is how I uh, how I got to read about Delhi, and then I read about Delhi, and then I like to read about India. But uh, I had it long time ago. I had this download made two like more than one year ago. Now well, this India did download more than one year ago and then hit. So I have to really like to read a lot. I, I will keep it open because I like to read many links, but not not now. I have to read some of this aircraft and uh, close close because too much open. Indira Gandhi International Airport. Indira Gandhi International Airport, IATA, Dell, ICAO, VID, is the primary international airport serving Delhi, the capital of India, and the national capital region, NCR. The airport, spread over an area of 5,106 acres, 2,066 ha, is situated in Palam, Delhi, 15 kilometers, 9.3 mi southwest of the New Delhi Railway Station and 16 kilometers 9.9 mi from New Delhi City Center. Named after Indira Gandhi, 1917-1984, the former Prime Minister of India, it is the busiest airport of India in terms of passenger traffic since 2009. It is also the busiest airport in the country in terms of cargo traffic. In the financial year of 2020, the airport handled 6.73 crore, 67.3 million passengers, the highest ever in the airport's history. As of 2022, it is the seventh busiest airport in the world, as per the latest rankings issued by the UK-based air consultancy firm, OAG. It is the second busiest airport in the world by seating capacity having a seating capacity of over 36 lakh, 3.6 million, seats, and the busiest airport in Asia by passenger traffic, handling over 3.7 crore, 37 million, passengers in 2021. The airport was operated by the Indian Air Force before its management was transferred to the Airports Authority of India. In May, 2006, the management of the airport was passed over to Delhi International Airport Limited, DIAL, a consortium led by the GMR Group. In September, 2008, the airport inaugurated a 4,430 m, 14,530 feet, runway. With the commencement of operations at Terminal 3 in 2010, it became India's and South Asia's largest aviation hub. The Terminal 3 building has a capacity to handle 3.4 crore, 34 million, passengers annually and was the world's eighth largest passenger terminal upon completion. The airport inaugurated a 4,400 m, 14,400 feet, runway and the 2.1 kilometers. 1.3 mi Eastern Cross Taxiways (ECT) with dual parallel taxiways in July 2023. The airport uses an advanced system called Airport Collaborative Decision Making (ACDM) to help keep takeoffs and landings timely and predictable. 
The other airport serving NCR is the Hilden Airport, which is much smaller in size and primarily handles regional flights out of the city under the Uden scheme. The former airport, which used to be the primary airport of NCR, Saftajung Airport is now used mainly by VIP helicopters and small charter helicopters due to its short runway. To stimulate the increasing traffic, a second airport, Noida International Airport is being constructed to offset the load of Indira Gandhi International Airport. History, Edit Palam Airport had a peak capacity of around 1,300 passengers per hour. In 1979-80, a total of 30 lakh, 3 million, domestic and international passengers flew into and out of Palam Airport. Owing to an increase in air traffic in the 70s and the 80s, an additional terminal with nearly four times the area of the old Palam Terminal was constructed. With the inauguration of this new international terminal, Terminal 2, on the 2nd of May, 1986, the airport was renamed as Indira Gandhi International Airport, IGIA. The old domestic airport, Palam, is known as Terminal 1 and was divided into separate buildings 1AM, 1B, and 1C. Blocks 1AM and 1B were used to handle international operations while domestic operations took place in Block 1C. Block 1A and 1B later became dedicated terminals for domestic airlines and are currently closed down. It is planned that they will be demolished after the construction of newer terminals. Block 1C was also turned into a domestic arrivals terminal and was rebuilt and opened on the 24th of February 2022. The newly constructed domestic departures Block 1D is now used by all domestic low-cost airlines, Indigo, and SpiceJet. There is also a separate technical area for VIP passengers. The domestic arrivals terminal 1C was demolished and rebuilt into a brand new domestic arrivals terminal. For this expansion work, GoAir and select flights of Indigo were moved to Terminal 2 as well as select flights of SpiceJet and Indigo to Terminal 3. In October, 2001, Canada 3000 commenced a flight to Toronto. This was the first non-stop service between India and North America. Russia's decision to open its airspace after the Cold War allowed the airline to save time by flying a direct route over the Arctic. Even though the, the 11th of September attacks had precipitated a global decline in air travel, Canada 3000 was hoping that the service would help it improve its financial position. Nevertheless, the company collapsed one month later. Significant growth in the Indian aviation industry led to a major increase in passenger traffic. The capacity of Terminal 1 was estimated to be 71.5 lakh, 7.15 million, passengers per annum, per. The actual throughput for 2005 forward slash 06 was an estimated 1.04 crore, 10.4 million, passengers including the then closed down international terminal terminal 2 the airport had a total capacity of 1.25 crore 12.5 million passengers per year whereas the total passenger traffic in 2006 forward slash 07 was 1.65 crore 16.5 million passengers per year in 2008 the total passenger count at the airport reached 2.4 crore, 23.97 million. To ease the traffic congestion on the existing terminals and in preparation for the 2010 Commonwealth Games, a much larger Terminal 3 was constructed and inaugurated on 3 July 2010. The new terminal's construction took 37 months for completion and this terminal increased the airport's total passenger capacity by 34 million. Apart from the three budget domestic airlines handled by Terminals 1 and 2, all other airlines operate their flights from Terminal 3. In June, 2022, 
Delhi International Airport became India's first to run entirely on hydropower and solar energy. Ownership, edit. On the 31st of January, 2006, the Aviation Minister Prafal Patel announced that the empowered group of ministers have agreed to sell the management rights of Delhi Airport to the Dial Consortium and the Mumbai Airport to the GVK Group. On the 2nd of May, 2006, the management of Delhi and Mumbai airports were handed over to the private consortia. Delhi International Airport Limited, Dial, is a consortium of the GMR Group, 54%, Currently 64%, Fraport, 10%, and Malaysia Airports, 10%, currently no share, and the Airports Authority of India retains a 26% stake. Nine years later, in May, 2015, Malaysia Airports chose to exit from Dial Venture and sold its entire 10% stake to majority shareholder GMR Infra for $79 million. Following this GMR Group's stake at Dial increased to 64%. Earlier, GMR indicated that it was interested in buying out the 10% stake of Fraport. Facilities, edit. Runways, edit. Runways at IGI Airport. Runway number length width approach lights forward slash ILS. 11R forward slash 29L 4430M, 14530 feet, 60M, 200 feet, CAT 3B forward slash CAT 2. 11L forward slash 29R 4400M, 14400 feet, 45M, 148 feet, CAT 3B forward slash CAT 2. 10 forward slash 28 3813 m 12510 feet 46 m 151 feet cat i forward slash cat 3 b 09 forward slash 27 2816 m 9239 feet 45 m 148 feet cat i forward slash cat i Delhi Airport has four near parallel runways, runway 11 R forward slash 29 L, 4430 M 60 M, 14530 feet 200 feet, runway 11 L forward slash 29 R, 4400 M 45 M, 14436 feet 148 feet, Runway 10 forward slash 28, 3813 m 46 m, 12510 feet 151 feet, and runway 09 forward slash 27, 2816 m 45 m, 9239 feet 148 feet. The 09 forward slash 27 runway of the Delhi airport was the airport's first ever runway. The British constructed the 2,816 meter long and 60 meter wide runway in the pre-independence era and used it during World War II. In addition to Shodhari Sharon Singh International Airport in Lucknow and Jaipur Airport in Jaipur. Delhi airport is the only airport in India to have been equipped with the Cat 3B ILS as of 2017. In the winter of 2005, there were a record number of disruptions at Delhi airport due to fog forward slash smog. Since then some domestic airlines have trained their pilots to operate under CAT 2 conditions of a minimum 350 m, 1150 feet, visibility. On the 31st of March, 2006, IGI became the first Indian airport to operate two runways simultaneously following a test run involving a Spice Jet plane landing on runway 28 and a Jet Airways plane taking off from runway 27 at the same time.
The initially proposed mode involving simultaneous takeoffs in westerly flow to increase handling traffic capacity caused several near misses over the west side of the airport where the center lines of runways 10 forward slash 28 and 9 forward slash 27 intersect. The runway use was changed to segregate dependent mode on the 25th of December, 2007, which was a few days after a near miss involving an Airbus A330-200 of Qatar Airways and an Indigo A320 aircraft. The new method involved the use of runway 28 for all departures and runway 27 for all arrivals. This more streamlined model was adopted during day hours. 2300-0600-2300 IST, until the 24th of September, 2008. On the 21st of August, 2008, the airport inaugurated its third runway, 11R forward slash 29L, costing 1,000 crore and 4,430M, 14,534 feet, long. The runway has one of the world's longest paved threshold displacements of 1,460 m, 4,790 feet. This, in turn decreases the available landing length on runway 29 L to 2,970 m, 9,744 feet. The runway increases the airport's capacity to handle up to 100 flights from the previous 4560 flights per hour. The new runway was opened for commercial operations on the 25th of September 2008 and gradually began full round the clock operations by the end of October of the same year. Since 2012 all three runways are operated simultaneously to handle traffic during day hours. Only runways 11 are forward slash 29L and 10 forward slash 28 are operated during night, 2300-0600 IST, hours with single runway landing restriction during westerly traffic flow that is rotated late night. 0300 IST, and reversed weekly to distribute and mitigate nighttime landing noise over nearby residential areas. To cater for the demand of increasing air traffic, the master plan for the construction of a fourth parallel runway next to the existing runway 11R forward slash 29L had been cleared along with the Eastern Cross Taxiways. ECT, which will have two elevated parallel taxiways linking the northern part of the airport with the southern runways. It will be elevated as it will pass over the airport approach roads. It will be 2.1 kilometers, 1.3 mi, long and both the taxiways will be 44 m, 144 feet, wide, with a 47 m, 154 feet, wide gap separating the taxiways, making it capable of handling Airbus A380 and Boeing 747 type aircraft. It will help flights reducing duration to reach the southern runways from 9-10 minutes to only 2 minutes, as well as reducing pollution and traffic. The fourth runway and the ECT was inaugurated on the 14th of July 2023. Terminals Edit. IGI Airport serves as a major hub or a focus destination for several Indian carriers including Air India, Alliance Air, Indigo, SpiceJet, and Vistera. Approximately 80 airlines serve this airport. At present, there are three actively scheduled passenger terminals, as well as a cargo terminal. Recently, Delhi Airport operator Dial has introduced an e-boarding facility for passengers at all the three terminals of the airport, by which all boarding gates will have contactless e-boarding gates with boarding card scanners, which will allow passengers to flash their physical or e-boarding cards to verify flight details in order to proceed for security checks. Domestic and International Operations Edit Terminal 3 is an integrated terminal used for both international and domestic flights.
the Indian carriers operating international flights are Air India, Indigo, Spice Jet, and Vistera. As far as domestic operations are concerned, Terminal 3 is used by Air India, Air India Express, Vistera, and select flights of Spice Jet and Indigo. Select flights of Indigo use Terminal 2 for their domestic operations. Terminal 1, Edit. Terminal 1 is currently used by the low-cost domestic carriers, such as Spice Jet and Indigo. In 2022, Terminal 1D was fully expanded with an arrivals hall, with the goal of enhancing its annual passenger handling capacity from the previous 1.8 crore, 18 million, to 3 crore, 30 million. Terminal 1AM Terminal 1AM was built in the late 1980s to cater to Indian Airlines, now absorbed into Air India. It had to be refurbished after a fire gutted the interiors and dial significantly upgraded the terminal. It was used by Air India for its Airbus operations until it shifted to the new Terminal 3 on the 11th of November 2010. This terminal is now closed and is expected to be torn down on the completion of newer terminals. Terminal 1B Terminal 1B was also built in the late 1980s and was used only for domestic departures. Upon the opening of the new domestic departures Terminal 1D in 2009, Terminal 1B got closed and is also expected to be torn down on the completion of newer terminals. Terminal 1C Terminal 1C was also built in the late 1980s and was used only for domestic arrivals. The terminal has been upgraded with a newly expanded greeting area and a larger luggage reclaim area with eight belts. Terminal 1C was shut down, torn, and rebuilt into a brand new domestic arrivals hall on the 24th of February 2022. Terminal 1D Terminal 1D is the newly built domestic departures terminal with a total floor space of 53,000 m, 570,000 square feet, and has a capacity to handle 1.5 crore, 15 million, passengers per year. Terminal 1D commenced operations on the 19th of April, 2009. It has 72 common use terminal equipment, cute, enabled check-in counters, 16 self-check-in counters, and 16 security channels. Terminal 2, Edit Terminal 2 was opened on the 1st of May, 1986, at a cost of 95 crores and was used for international flights until July, 2010 when operations shifted to Terminal 3. After this, the terminal remained operational for only three months per year catering to hatch flights. In 2017, after revamping Terminal 2 at a cost of 100 crores, Dial shifted all operations of GoAir and select operations of Indigo to that terminal in order to continue expansion work of Terminal 1. Terminal 3, Edit Designed by HOK working in consultation with Mark McDonald, the new Terminal 3 is a two-tire building spread over an area of 54 lakh, 5.4 million, square feet, approx 502,000 square meter, making it the world's eighth largest terminal in the world, with the lower floor being the arrivals area, and the upper floor being a departures area. This terminal has 168 check-in counters, 78 aero bridges at 48 contact stands, 54 parking bays, 95 immigration counters, 18 X-ray screening areas, shorter waiting times, duty-free shops, and other features. The international flights leave from gates 1 to 26, gates 2, 4, 6 are bus gates and the domestic flights leave from gates 27 to 62, gates 42, 44 are bus gates. This new terminal was timed to be completed for the 2010 Commonwealth Games, which was held in Delhi and is connected to Delhi by an 8.
named Delhi Gurgaon Expressway and the Delhi Metro through its Airport Express, Orange Line. The terminal was officially inaugurated on the 3rd of July 2010. All international airlines shifted their operations to the new terminal in late July 2010 and all full-service domestic carriers in November.